Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the Benghazi Rabbit. We have an interesting video for you today. On Monday, April 22nd, District Attorney Sandra Dorley in Monroe County up in Rochester, New York, decided to go speeding through the neighborhood and a Webster police officer saw her and decided to stop her. Well, she wanted to keep going because this entitled bitch thought that she could. She drove all the way home and then the police officer came up. So we got the full body camera footage. And if you guys want to see a super entitled bitch, go ahead and watch the, the following body cam. I am going to leave the full body camera footage in there as well as a little news clip for those of you who want the shorter segment and then the full segment. So we got some pretty good stuff. There is going to be more complaints filed on this district attorney. I will leave the information in the description below if you want to have your voices heard as well. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and roll the footage. And newly released body cam footage, Monroe County DA Sandra Dorley tells a Webster police officer it was her choice not to stop when he attempted to pull her over for going 20 miles over the speed limit on Phillips Road Monday. She said she was having a very bad day. Instead of arresting her for failing to stop, the officer wrote her a ticket. Tonight, at least one group is calling for more accountability. Jatira Marsh joins us with a closer look at the police footage and what transpired once the DA drove home. Jatira. Teresa, from what we will see in the video, law enforcement say the situation has turned into a much bigger issue than what it has to be. Monday around 530, a Webster police officer says he was attempting to pull over District Attorney Sandra Dorley on Phillips Road. In the body cam footage, Dorley explains why she didn't pull over and instead she kept going and didn't stop until she pulled into her own garage. Dorley is seen on the phone. She tells the officer she called Webster police chief. Okay, I'm telling you why I stopped you. You didn't stop at all. Did you not hear my lights or sirens or no, anything? No, I didn't actually. I was on the phone. Okay. Well, you're not supposed to be on the phone while you're driving either. Yes, I am. With the hands free, absolutely. Okay. Why are you so upset at me? I'm doing my job. Mm -hmm. You you just admitted to me that you were going 55 and a 35 Can on Phillips Road. Time to leave me alone. During the back and forth, Dorley insists on speaking to a supervisor. So why didn't you just stop like you're supposed because to? Because I didn't feel like stopping on Phillips Road. Well, that's that's not your choice. You know that. Well, I made it my choice. Huh? Okay. Well, now you, now you made it a bigger deal than it needed it's, to be. It's a really bigger deal. When people start coming, it's a much bigger deal. <laughs> well, you, ca you caused that, Sandra. Well, what do you want us to do? Not do our job because it's you? No, it's fine. I said, write me a ticket. But I was just saying, I was not going to stop at Phillips Road at 530. Okay, well, you broke another law because of that. Right? So and you should know better. That's not a traffic ticket. That's an arrestable offense, Sandra. Instead of arresting Dorley, Webster police write her a ticket. All right, ma'am. So I'm issuing you speed that's, in zone, 55 and a 35. That's fine. I'll take care of it since I'll be prosecuting myself. Okay. Dorley released a statement yesterday on the matter saying, I acknowledge that I was speeding and I accepted the ticket. By 1 p.m. the following day, I pled guilty and sent the ticket to the Webster Town Court because I believe in accepting responsibility for my actions and had no intention of using my position to receive a benefit. Teresa, back to you. All right, Jatira, thank you. Michael Johnson, the director of the Social Justice Group, Save Rochester, says they plan to file formal complaints by Monday. In a release today, he writes, Sandra Dorley's blatant disregard for the law must not go unchecked. I reached Johnson by phone tonight. He said, if this had been any other citizen, they would not have been allowed to get away with the behavior she displayed. Well, pretty interesting stuff there. But I'd like to segue really quick before we watch the full body cam for those interested. Does anybody remember this fuckface, Josh, dealing with Dr. Justin? Well, turns out Josh really dropped the ball. He fucked up. Let's look. He didn't do too well. If Josh didn't spend so much time fucking with Dr. Justin's constitutional rights, maybe he would have won that case. Gonna fuck around him some more, Josh? Well, okay, guys, here's that full body cam for those who are interested. Sorry, 
on the DA, I was going 55 coming home from work. 55 and a 35. I don't really care. Okay. So you can call this. Can you, come, can you no, please no, come no. over here? No. You're on a, this is on a traffic stop, ma'am. Yes, it is. You can call Dennis Kohlmeyer right now. Okay, I'm telling you why I stopped you. You didn't stop at all. Did you not hear my lights or sirens or no, anything? No, I didn't actually. I was on the phone. Okay, well, you're not supposed to be on the phone while you're driving either. Yes, I am with the hands free, absolutely. Okay. Why are you so upset at me? I'm doing my job. Maybe you you just admitted that. to me that you were going 55 and a 35 Can on Phillips Road. Can you to leave me alone? It's... Chris Officer Chris Afouli. Can you stay over here, ma'am? This no, is a traffic... I'm not this is a, staying this over This is a legal here. traffic stop. Do you have your ID? No, it's in my purse. Here. You have your purse right there. No, this is my lunch. Would you talk to your talk to Dennis? This is ridiculous. Just go away. Hello, sir. Good, ma'am. Can you please stay at the back? Can this is a le ma'am. This is this legal is traffic stop. stop. Can you please stay over here? No. no. Hey, baby, get your little guy out of here. Sir, I stopped her for going 55 and a 35 on Phillips Road. On Phillips Road. And Coming she failed to stop. She drove all the way back home. And parked oh, in her garage, and now she's not she's not complying with any of my commands, ma'am. Do not go inside. Oh my God. Yep. Yep. All right. Ma'am, come outside. You can't just go inside. This is a traffic okay. stop. Here's Don't your phone you, back. I understand the law better than you. Would you Nine five me? three. You can you have a law? supervisor come to the scene? No. Get out of my fucking house. I don't know why I don't know why you're acting like this towards me. Because Can you please go to the back of the vehicle? I'm not going to. I'm home. I was going I was okay, fifty. I don't care if you got home. You were supposed to stop at Phillips Road when I pulled you over. When my know. lights were initiated. I didn't know you were stopping me. There was lots of other people on the road. I was right behind you. Yeah. There were other people on the road, too. Okay, I was directly I'm behind not, you. I'm not dealing with you right Can now. Can you please step over here? I'm not going to. What is the reason you're you're so against what I'm doing? I'm doing my job. You say you're a DA? I am the DA. Okay. Okay, let me get you my badge. I am the DA in of Monroe County. I just don't understand the hostility towards me. I'm doing my job. No, you're being an asshole. How am I being an asshole? I am the DA of Monroe County. I understand yes, that. But I'm that doesn't give you a right to go fifty five and a thirty five. And you even admitted to me that you went 50. I, I understand really that, ma'am. I don't really I understand care. that. I don't, you know what? If you give me a traffic ticket, that's fine. I'm the one who prosecutes it, okay? Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just don't understand the hostility. I, I understand no, you're I coming home from work. Making, and half the time I was on the phone with Dennis telling him, why are you pulling me over? You're not even supposed to be on the phone to begin with. You oh, should yes. know that. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I'm hands-free? Absolutely. Okay. You should know the law. Okay. If it is hands-free, that's great. But at the end of the day, you're going 55 and a 35. That's 20 okay. miles over the speed limit. Okay. You know what? That's fine. You know what I've been dealing with all day? Three murders in the city. And do you think I really care if I was going 20 miles over the speed limit? Okay. I'm just doing my I job. If you, pulled, if you pulled over when you saw my lights, which obviously you did. I thought you were going somewhere else because I okay. thought no one would ever pull... A, a black SUV if you ran my plates. I didn't I run your plate. I just called your plate out. And then I'm following you because you're not stopping. So I had to take the air from dispatch. Just please. 953, you can have the air back, by the way. Just come outside over here. No, I'm not going outside. Okay. I'm waiting for you just to leave. Well, I'm having a supervisor come because that's what my chief told me to do. Do you have your driver's license? I just showed you my driver's license. Show me your you show me your badge. Thanks, She's part of the she's a DA. Yep, I know. And I was just trying to pull into my driveway. I was okay. on the phone with Dennis Kohlmeyer saying, would you please tell the person who's following me that I'm, just, just, I'm almost ma home? Ma'am, I understand you were going home, but I started my lights back at Phillips Road. Hey, on Phillips Road, I guess yes. you did, and there are other cars. I was right behind you, directly behind you. 
at the end, go, go at, ahead, like, listen, you, you wanna, at the like end said, of the day, go ahead if you want to write me a traffic ticket, that's fine. Okay, at the end of the I day, really at the end of the day, I was stopping you for speed. If you I've just had stop. I've a really bad day. I've been dealing with murders And I get it, and I get it. We I, have bad I, days sorry, also, I'm ma'am. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We have okay, bad days okay, also. My back. I, I'm going to just add it to the job real quick. Okay, I'm You can just go and actually add it. You don't have to use the air. At the end of the day, I was just making a traffic sound, doing my job, what I was supposed yeah. to do. Well, fine. Thank you. Okay. So now, supervisor's on his way, and Who's then we'll go from there. Supervisor's coming up here. Huh? Who? Sergeant Johnson. I understand you had it. Like, I get it. I, we all have I'm bad days at work. Yeah, I'm going to go in the house. Seriously. No, this is a traffic stop, and, I'm, and you, Please out of everyone, should know that if there's a legal traffic stop, which I have, I have the right to detain then, you until this is done. Then just write me the fucking ticket. I really don't care. Okay. Well, then just hang out at the back of the car. Because I'm the one that's going to prosecute myself. I, you know what I'll do with the ticket? <laughs> okay. Just come out here for me and just I'm stand... Not Corey, you just want to stand up here. Yeah, as long as it's added to the job. Sarge on his way. Because you said ten four. Okay. Supervisor, come, and then we'll go from there. Oh, come okay. on. Just I, I, this is what my chief wants. That's At the end of the day, you called him. I spoke to him on your phone, and this is yeah, what he I'm wants. Call him again. Seriously. You guys can go. You guys go. I'll wait here with, wait for Sarge or LT. Sounds like LT is coming, though. going 55 and 35 on Phillips. She didn't stop at all. She decided to drive home, called the chief, and this is where we're at. She's admitted multiple times to me. So I attempted to stop her on Phillips Road, Yeah. going 55 and a 35. Yeah. Didn't see the plate. I was just keeping an eye on the vehicle yeah. because she wasn't stopping. Drove all the way here, yeah. pulled into her garage, got out, was just being aggressive towards me for no reason. I was being respectful. Telling her this is a legal traffic stop, come to the back of the vehicle, no. Then she called chief, then that's why I requested a supervisor. Okay. And now she was wanted to go inside, told her no, you can't go inside, and this is where we're at, so.
all of you caught you caught this. Yeah. Well, what do you want us to do? Not do our job because it's you? No, it's fine. I said, write me a ticket. But I was just saying, I was not going to stop at Bose Road at 5.30. Well, you broke it on the wall because of that. Right? So you should know that. Sure. That's not attractive. That, that's an arrestable offense. You know that. That one's seven. I got nothing to show off it. Why would you have to pull up? Yeah. a bigger deal than what you do. Maybe you knew why you were getting stopped. Clearly. Clearly. I'm going to stop you. I had a conversation with you. You didn't know me. You know who made it? You didn't know me. You know me? Did you try to do the rest of your registration? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a ID? I gave it back to her. It's uh, attached to the job and everything, so. I didn't want to stop in Post Road. I was bored down the street. I figured I would just stop in my driveway. That's what I figured. I thought, I thought it would be easier. Still rolling, so. Yeah, you, um. I mean, it's your traffic stop. I'm not gonna tell you how to handle it. Yeah. Which feels necessary. He's done talking about I mean, 17, I can start for the unknown. 717, it looks like it's an open line on a cell phone with people that were yelling to one another uh, at the tennis court area. Yeah, the middle he got of the out of the vehicle and everything, so, I mean. Done for all advice. Yeah. Explain to her, I mean, she knew, she knew exactly that she was going 55 in a 20, or a 35. She even called the chief. So it's like, I, you know, like, I, I, I got a phone call right there. Like, I, I don't care just writing her the speeding ticket and being done with it, but technically it's a restable offense that she didn't stop. What's the deal? You got yeah, right. your ticket? What are you, you going to do? I mean, it's your stop. I'm not going to interfere with that. Yeah. I, mean, I get clear that, that she came home. I mean, obviously, if I. I mean, just trying no to. Yeah. I explained that to her. It makes like, no sense to come home. She came home. She failed the stop. I mean, it's a restable offense. I'm not trying to arrest the DA of the county, but also yeah. I want. I don't want to not do my job in. Not at least write or something. So. No, I, think, I get it. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to. I'll at least write her the freaking going 55 and a 20. Okay. At the end of the day, I got discretion whether or not. No, I get it. I understand. So. Hello. I'm 
I'm just gonna start the, t the one ticket. Five one six transport. Go ahead. One female two thirteen twenty three East Ridge eight seven five three seven. So I'm just right here the speed. I mean, so I just want you to be here for this whole thing. I don't have my the body cam. So. Mine's still going. Um, I'm trying to think. I try to get hold of the.
whatever. All right, ma'am. So I'm issuing you speed in zone, 55 and a 35. That's fine. I'll take care of it since I'll be prosecuting myself. Okay. At the end of the day, if you see my lights and sirens behind you, and obviously they're going off, just pull over. We can have a conversation and be on our way. I kept my eye on your vehicle. I'm not going to check my computer to see what plate it is if a vehicle is not stopping for me. I want to keep my eyes on that vehicle for my safety okay, so I make it home at the end okay. of the day. I okay? I apologize, I, but... I, I, I'm sorry that you had a bad day, yeah. and I'm sorry it went this way, but I do respect what you do. Have a good day, man. But I would say... Okay, I gotta put the job in now. Do you know her location? Yeah. I believe she's trying to say she's at the Pier Webster Park. All right, thanks. All right, we'll see you. Sorry. He's Thank just, you. He's just happy he's got company. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. All the information is in the description if you want to have your voice heard. Check you on the next one.